How you doing guys? So, as you can see, we caught a five gallon bucket of razor clams, a um, handful of clams, and some conch, uh, which are all absolutely delicious eating. And I wanted to focus more on razor clams in this video and show how to catch them. Because uh, clams are very easy to catch, you can just use rakes, and that's generally the only way to catch them. Conch, there, you can use rakes or you can just walk around to catch them. Um, not as great as the eating, but the razor clams, they are very delicious as comparable as clams um, and a little bit more meat per per work in my opinion so this is what I wanted to go through in my video so as you can see between three guys we caught about a five gallon bucket of razor clams um, which is comes out to be about 25 clams per person which is a good amount because um, we all have families and we bring them back and uh, we make some nice pasta with them or we, um, you can eat them raw. Um, you want to eat them raw in the clamming season because during the summer months, they have a lot more. They're more prone for bacteria and viruses. So you do not want to eat them raw in the summer heat. So s stay away in the summer months uh, for clams, clams unless they're cooked. So the first way to catch them is um, they're actually sticking out of the water. They're sticking out the water, so. And this is when the tide is lower, so the best part is to, when the tide is running out, just walk around and just kind of flip every stone, just walk around and get a better idea of where the razor clams are, and you can see see a lot of shells around, so just flip every one and you'll see ones that um, are just kind of sticking around. The second way to catch them is uh, by using a salt method so like you one. get a bottle um, fill it up with some salt get some water mix it um, about a 50 50 mi mixture it's now it's not going to dissolve it's because the s amount of salinity in salt water is already very high but the idea is to get the salt extremely low so they shoot yeah. up and the reason why razor clams will shoot up the hole is that so, so just to explain how it works is razor clams they the actually is, are out of water during the high tide and they're filtering the water and once the low tide comes around, because the salinity is pulling, the water is pulling out due to the low tide, they actually go deeper in, and that's how they protect themselves. And one way to kind of trick this is by putting salt water. Um, you could, I believe you could use just salt water, uh, but I like to use a little salt. That way they come up a lot faster. Because the higher salt content, the faster they'll come up. And just to explain when we went, um, this is about... Uh, early April, about a month and a half ago, and um, very cold time. Uh, it was even cold wearing waders, and it was raining. And this is, I believe, at a new moon or a full moon, one or the other. Um, so the water levels pull out very, very far. Uh, I want you can definitely walk past that pier right there, the and it will be about chest high. Um, so as you can tell, it's that's very low for this particular area. This area is usually, um, there will be some sandbars that show up, but you could see up to the second, third sandbar um, if there was one. In this video, there is a area where um, water has still not fully gone out and you will actually see a razor clam kind of sticking out and I actually pull it out by hand, here it is. And yeah, so, it's very it's a very easy way to catch them and they do have a very aggressive they're very strong so you might have to use some um, some elbow grease and to get them out and sorry about the rain that's on the camera seems like it was raining really hard that day and which is why there was no one there because they actually forecasted um, they forecasted for a big thunderstorm which did not happen. The, there was a south wind that pushed it up, so it actually dodged us. And yeah, so this is the the, the I mean the prime primary way is number one, walk around when the water is slowly going out, and just to s just see if there is razor clams just out of water, and then when the water goes fully out all the sandbars will dry up and you want to walk around with a salt water and just pour it into the hole so there's a little hole just like that and you'll see it pulling out and it'll that? pop out just like that and you just grab it with your hand 
and just kind of yank on it. You don't want to yank on it too hard because then the meat will actually fall out, which you don't want. You want them to stay intact. And yeah, they're great eating. I love to eat them with uh, a little pasta alfredo and cook them up. Um, adds a tremendous amount of, of a, a seafood taste, which is absolutely delicious. But uh, thanks for watching. Keep looking for these air holes. Man, those are some pretty good ones right there.